This episode of the Super Mega Cast is brought to you by Manscaped. That's the sound of me shaving my pubes with Manscaped, guys. Because you know what? It's 2021. Nobody wants a a, a big hairy bush. You know no. what's 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 cool I now. Know. You do? I don't. Oh, you don't? Yeah, yeah. What you know? It's cool to have that nice smooth shave now. It's not the '80s anymore, Ryan. No. Uh, so, what better way to do it than with Manscaped and all their great products? But in the meantime, if you're curious, you can head over to Manscaped.com, open up a new tab, enter code SuperMega20, get 20% off and free shipping. Let's uh, let's, uh, let's get into the podcast. Okay. Hey, I'm back from surgery, and I'm here. Um, just normal as always. Are you are you trying to be me? No. Well, you know no, what? No, I'm not. Fuck. Well, I don't sound like I don't sound like that anymore, dude. <laughs> ah, Patrick. <laughs> hey guys, I, I I'm back from my nose surgery. They pulled the tubes out of my nose, and I still I still like I got a lot of recovery. And it's it's all swollen and, and shit. But uh, hey, my my voice is back to normal. Um, kind of sound. I, I feel like it's in my head. It sounds a little bit different. It sounds like um, eh, like more like eh, like that. I don't know if that even makes sense. I don't. I, it's hard to tell in the podcast room because, like, how, if your voice sounds crisp, because it always just sounds more crisp because yeah. of the sound foam and stuff. It's but just, I feel like it does sound a bit different, even if it is just yeah. Like, well, I have healing. Or I have more more airflow. But we forgot to introduce our guest. Uh, please introduce yourself, Michael Jackson. Thanks, Michael. Uh, what's up, guys? Episode two thirty six. I'm back sleeping on a the- sleeping bag on the floor. None of that. I None gave that. him the None bed. None of that, Michael. Because he has a brother named Star. We'll get, we'll get into that. We'll, we'll get, get into that, that Michael. Bit. Chill. Uh, took a took a took a little time off because my nose was all uh you know fucked and goofy, but well it still is. It's still you but know. They- now it's wonderful. Not well in terms of airflow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can listen to this. Ready? Ready? Remember when I showed on the podcast me breathing through one side of my nose and it was all like fucked? Yeah. Listen, here's both sides at the same time. That's a big old whiff. <sighs> Might have to change the sound effect later on in the in the end screen to have a more healthy sniff. Yeah, like a instead of a. It feels great though, man. It was a. It it hurt. Um, one thing I I wanted to say, uh, kind of a funny story, I guess. Um, well, after I got out of the surgery and I was in the recovery room, I just woken up from the anesthesia, and. The nurse comes in and she's, you know, helping me, you know, sit, sitting me up and stuff and helping me. And I'm regaining consciousness a little bit. Uh, and then she's like, okay, I'll, I'll leave to let you get changed back into your clothes. So I, I, I get off and I start, you know, I take off my robe or my gown, my king's robe they put me in. Um, it was Gucci. And then I, I take it off and I, I'm in my underwear and she comes back in real quick. And she's like, hey, uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. And I was, I was like, I was like, no, 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 it's, it's, it's fine. You can say what you need to say real quick. And I was in my underwear, so it was a little awkward. But I was sitting on the table and mm-hmm. like, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm in my boxers, but like, it's, it's all good. Uh, and she talked for uh, like 20 seconds, then left. And I looked down and realized that the head of my penis was out of my boxers the entire time. So. You just sexually harassed someone. Yeah, because because when she came in to talk, and I was like, no, no, it's okay, because like she was like, oh, uh, and I was like, no, she probably obviously saw the head of your penis. I'm really hope. Well, my underwear was black, so I think that kind of. And she was like, it wasn't the full head. It was like, like it was no, like, no, say what you need to say. Yeah, well, I'm like, what if what if she thinks, it's like, <laughs> doctor, I was. Looped. I can promise Ow. you, she's not listening to the podcast. So yeah, um, I just hit myself in the nose. It's very. They did they, all this is new cartilage at the bottom. You know, got got a brand new cartilage. Uh, they said the worst thing that you could do would be to be punched in the face. Yeah. Which I would not ever. I would never I, hurt a child. Yeah, no. People just don't. As long as you don't deck me square in the face, we're good. Yeah. I, uh, if I got hit with a ball or uh, he said if something falls from the cupboard, okay. the worst thing that could happen. So it would, it would break all this brand new cartilage. Uh, but when they pulled the tubes out, the procedure I got done today was fantastic. I go in. He's like, Matthew, how are you feeling? Because he speaks really fast. Yeah. I was like, good, good. And he, he sprays a lidocaine up my nose, like, like liquid, and it goes all the way back to down my throat. And I was like, <laughs> and then he gets some pliers, pulls the fucking huge tubes out of my nose. There's like a bunch of like yeah, snot so and coagulated much, blood. It felt, it was so satisfying though. It kind of hurt, but it was so good. And then he put a vacuum up my nose. It was like, <laughs> sucked everything out. And he sucked, he licked the tip of it when he was done. I don't think he's, yeah, okay. Yeah. Did something act? No, no, I I was hearing like a tapping sound out of my left ear. Um Is it just the washer? No, it was like a little like I was seeing if it was the uh 
the mixer. It could be like a giant No, actually, it's in bug. my ear, I just realized. It's like, uh... You have to get s the surgery in your ear now? It's in my ear, yeah. Oh, it's, wow, it's in my... I think it's just because of the, the mucus and stuff, you know? All connected. ENT, ear, nose, throat. And when I'm talking, I'm feeling a crackle, so... It's, uh... And I just started getting pollen allergies. It's that time of year, so... Hey, but now you have a beautiful new nose to now I can inhale those more. allergies with. Yeah, I can react even harder to pollen. <laughs> exactly. Now. See, before, it, this was kind of protecting me, but now it's... Um, now it's opening it up for everything. You know? What? What's that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I was I was just I was just agreeing, I guess. Yeah, man. I mean I I don't have allergies, so would you have a good weekend? I guess uh yes, I did. I Sunday was the start of it. And I did another one early Monday morning and then early Tuesday morning. I did uh the like motorcycle training course or whatever where it's like you can get a certi or certification Ooh. so it's like you can tell the, the the big boys in blue hey i can ride this hog yeah well it's not like it's not a permit or a license but it gets me like 15 percent off at some motorcycle gear stores it'll uh Ooh. it safety will pays help take money off insurance for when i actually get the bike and then uh, oh yeah, when I go to the DMV, it waives the need to take the driver's test. All they would have to do was take the knowledge test, and then I would get the license. Tucker just took that test. He passed. Yeah, with flying colors. I don't think I showed you, but it rained the first day of the motorcycle, like, actually going out into the field. Ooh. Oh, oh so yeah, it, it was wet. soaked through my pants, and I could feel every drop running down my leg, and it soaked through my gloves. Like the two days it rains in L.A., and let me show you. When I took off my gloves, this is these are what my, this is what my fingers look like. My little fingies. Ooh, hold on. I bet I already know, man. Let me see that. Shit. Oh, oh, I hate pruny fingers, man. No, look at the color. Whoa, they're like purple. Yeah, it's like. Were your gloves like, tight? Super purple. No, that's from the cold. Oh shit! Almost got some frostbite there, dude. <laughs> It was where your glow. Basically, there's like a stripe of purple, like that does one half of like most of my fingers on my right hand, and then my left hand had the same. In the thing cold, too. it really just turned it that purple. Yeah, that's wild, man. I, I, it was, it was, it was wet this weekend. It was rainy, man. And it's it, probably the most uncomfortable I've been in a long time. I love like the like one time you have to go do like an outdoor motorcycle. <laughs> I class. know. Like, let's get it really cold and pouring rain in Los yep. Angeles of all places. We were all just. <laughs> Hey, but I'm sure your adrenaline was high, so you could really pass that course of flying colors. Oh yeah, you know, I, sometimes I would slap my hands straight on the uh, the engine Ooh. to warm it up. Yeah, never do. D no, just I, if I, of it, course did not do that. Life hack: if you're riding a motorcycle, to warm your, your hands, and you want to warm your hands, up, just put them on the against muffler. the engine. <laughs> put them. It'll warm it right up real fast. But yeah, and then your weekend involved re mostly recovering. <laughs> you know, just uh, turning my swag on. Hopping up out the bed. I didn't. I stayed. I stayed on my... I just cleaned my room. Watch any movies? Binge any shows besides the finale of The Bachelor? Uh, I watched South Park a bunch. That's right. That's I watched right. South Park. I watched the, the... I need to watch that special you recommend. It's very funny. The the QAnon vaccine special. Very good. South Park still got it, baby. I'll go through bouts where every few years I'll like watch a season or something. Same. Like I don't watch South Park often, but every now and then I'll just sit down and watch like six episodes. That's funny. I, I missed so much. I, I missed like the entire arc of the PC principal and Mr. Garrison. Me, I Donald saw Trump that like a year after it aired, I think. I saw one episode the night it aired, which was the one where like Kim Jong-un was sending missiles over South Park, uh, over like Tweak's house. And I saw that at Ross's house. It's pretty funny. I remember when they were doing the uh, Clinton and Trump like presidential I didn't watch thing. any of that. Where Mr. Garrison is Trump, is like the Trump figure. Well, I don't want to spoil anything, but Mr. Garrison's back. As Trump? No, as, as himself again, as the teacher. They, they brought him back finally. Good. During the uh, special. He's like, okay. I'm back. It's Mr. Mackey, dude. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, my God, I just got it. What? Mackey? Okay. 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 <laughs> Mackey. Like, oh, okay. Shit. I never, I, oh, that's good. Matt Stone and Trey Parker, you little devil. This one was Mr. Garrison? Who am I? I was thinking of Mr. Mackey. Mr. I'm Mr. Garrison's the one with the square glasses and he's bald. <laughs> okay, yeah, and yeah, And he has yeah, a yeah. green shirt on. Okay, yeah, yeah, He's, it, Mr. Garrison's my favorite character. There's the whole arc where it was Mr. Garrison, then Mrs. Garrison, and then Mr. Garrison. Yeah. And then he was president. Yes. And now it's Mr. Garrison again. 
Garrison what for some reason I thought that he also did a McKay, but he just he was just the one where in the game you go up a, his ass and you see a bunch of like condoms and shit and like dildos. <laughs> Yeah, because he had Mr. Slave in the earlier seasons. <laughs> I think Mr. Slave is in his ass in the game. Yeah, I, well, Don't he, quote me on that. He hasn't been around, so... Um, now he has Mr. Service, who's like a secret service guy that really? wears like a little like thong. Oh, because I guess he was like an ex-president, so mm -hmm. he... So now he has Mr. Service. <laughs> Mr. Service. It's great, man. I love Mr. South Mr. Sir, dude. I need to, to rewatch that documentary, The Six Days Out. Sunflower Huh? <laughs> I need to rewatch re that documentary about South Park. <laughs> Do it. The seven days to air mm -hmm. that one, yeah, yeah, that's a, it's really good. Like that's just, woo. it's the first time I was like, Bill Hader worked on South Park he for did. a little bit. He I haven't, like, I haven't like, watched did voices that in a while. and was in the writing room for a bit too. Damn, dude. I know. One thing about the Simpsons, I like, uh, I like a lot Is about their the yellow. Well, I do like because they're yellow. It's it's fun for my brain. It gives the the dopamine juices flowing. But uh, when they have a celebrity, like they they almost always get the real celebrity on. Did they ever have you on? Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's right. You were in that, that one episode with Bubbles. You're also in South Park, by the way. Totally false. Cool, man. Nice. Ooh, someone's about to get pinched. I, I don't have any green. Someone's not wearing green, and today is St. Patrick's I know. Day. I know. I'm a bastard. I'm a rat bastard. I'll save it for after the podcast. The thing is, I have Irish blood in me. I know, and I don't, so... Uh, you know, it's funny that I'm pinching you. You're wearing your Peter Griffin pants. Well, actually, I, I was I was wearing uh, Adidas track pants earlier, and I was about to leave the office, and Jackson came up and pinched me. With that You know that, that grin, the, that Jackson <laughs> yeah. face? Uh, that, and I was like, oh, okay, shit, I better go put some green on, because I don't want to deal with this all day. So I put some green on, and uh, it's good luck, man. Yeah, it's got to be. We're surrounded by green. Yeah, man, I got some green in my lungs. I told Jackson when he pinched me, I was like, oh, I do have green. It's in my wallet. Oh, Ooh, that's good, okay, right? that yeah. is good. Mm-hmm. And I saw two people get pulled over today. Separately. Really? Yeah. One in, one in Burbank oh, and wait, one on in the Century City. Okay. I, I rarely see people being pulled over on the highway. Every now and nope, then I will. One but, like, I, I rarely do I see it. But, like, usually it's it'll be within the Burbank or Glendale, just around busy, kind of, like, more congested areas it was a bike officer dude mm -mm. dude i can drive i can ride up alongside and be like hey i got a <laughs> <laughs> was that you getting hit by a car wall that was me running into like a parked car i'd imagine uh, while, trying to, <laughs> while trying to show off my new my new bike to to a cop oh, i did that once dude i was not on a motorcycle but i was riding a bicycle really fast my friend i was looking over and talking to him and i just slammed into someone's mirror on the side of their car and <laughs> God, it like, like strung me off the bike and i just hit the ground it, it, it's not even that it hurt. It, i'm sure it took the wind out of yeah me. it's it, more that it's shocking getting hit in the face it's not even that hurts that's so shocking it's <gasps> like you like your whole brain shuts down for a second i remember going down like a really steep hill as a kid and i think i still have yeah right here see that scar i think i've talked about this before it's like a little bit shiny right there yeah yeah so I was going down a very steep hill. A car was backing out of its driveway, Ooh. and I slammed on those front brakes. Not even, not the rear at all. Oh, Ooh. So I just flipped right over, and I, I, I became like a, a little bit of my arm became a tiny bit of like a. I could see the skin and stuff on the street, and I was like, ah. you're a meat crayon. Yeah, I just, I just held my arm and ran up to the house. Like I hated looking at injuries when I was a kid. I can't, I can't, when I get a shot, I can't watch it. Like, I'm fine with needles, I but I, interesting. I can't, I, well, I watched it when they did the IV. I watched it. I made myself, I was like, you could do it, you could do it. But like, when I get a shot, I don't like watching it. It makes me, if, I feel like it hurts more for some reason. Like, it's like a mental thing. I try to picture how like, I'm like, how much of this needle is going inside of me? They stick, they stick, uh, like the IV shit goes pretty deep. It's yeah. Like, but it's, it's not also straight. A, it's usually, it's usually, it's, it's a thicker needle than like if you get injected with with, yeah, with uh, AIDS. You know what actually hurt really bad? Remember when the government administered AIDS? Yeah, I remember Kanye does too. They made me make a fist so they could see the vein in my hand, and the guy's like, "All right," starts slapping the back of my hand, and he kept doing it harder. And I'm gonna be he, like, honest, spit on his hand and start going in circles. <laughs> Feel anything yet? I'm looking for that vein. <laughs> Come on, just tell me when I hit the spot. Ooh, right there. Oh no. I don't think it's real. No, it's good. more circular motions. You're just flicking it around. Keep the rhythm up, Doc. It actually hurt really bad. It hurt worse than anything from the surgery with some slapping the back of my hand. I see why teachers did that. Like, hold your hand out. 
We got a ruler. ruler. My dad always got beat in school. Good. Kind of explains some things, you know. Well, maybe he wasn't beat enough. I honestly don't think he was whipped enough. My dad uh, would get uh, sent to the principal's office, and they would have the paddle with the holes in it. Do they spank him? Do you think? Do you think spank spanking as like a sexual fetish will be on the decline now that parents aren't spanking their kids as much? I don't know. Because I feel like that might that might have some some Freudian roots in in being spanked as a child. You know, maybe I guess potentially, but I don't think there'll ever be a shortage of shitty, abusive parents. Would would you you wouldn't spend you wouldn't spank your child, would you? If I would hurt a child, I would slip my wrist. I would never hurt a child. Good, good. I know you wouldn't. Um, you know, but that was that's my that's my that's my annual surgery story. Now, later in the year, we got to wait feet. for your feet are next, right? Yeah, but I'm I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to wait for that. Cause it's cause such an intense recovery, and I can only get one foot done at a time. So <laughs> Dude, I can still that, reco- that's gonna be probably the most miserable. I can still one. record. I couldn't record with this because it's my my nose, and like it would, it hurts to talk. Um, I heard Matt one point just a second ago. Uh, it's Matt from <laughs> every other episode of Super Mega Can. But I'll still be able to record with. I'll still be able to. <laughs> I'll still be able to record with my with my feet being all goofed. You'll record with your feet. I'll just be heavily drugged up on, on Viking It'll or something. It'll be heavenly drugged up. Yeah, it will. It'll be like David after Dentist every Let's Play. Dude, Tosh.0. <sighs> is he still doing it? Yeah, it's not. <laughs> oh my it. God. He's still going. <laughs> no, he's not. Yes, he is. <laughs> no fucking way. Is Tosh.0 canceled? I have this reaction, like, I probably had the same reaction, like, half a year to a year ago. I feel I, like there's like three different types of the podcast. We're like, no way. <laughs> no, I can't. It's like, no, I just forget. it ended November. November 24th, 2020 was the final oh, episode shit. date. Okay, okay. So it's actually done now. Thank how God. About, how about um, Put that ridiculousness? Is that over? I feel like ridiculousness is not happening. I don't know. Our friend got paid $900 for them to use his clip. Uh, Why don't they use any of our clips? Nope. No final episode dates. I guess Rob's still... That means Ridiculousness <laughs> 1. How far back... When did it first air? August 29th, 2011. God damn. When did... Fi- okay. Then tell me when Rob and Big first aired. Was that like when I was in middle school? Rob and... Yeah. Was that, no, I think earlier was that like than that. just freshman year? No. That was 2006 to 2008. Holy... So 2006, I would still fuck. be in elementary school. I was definitely in elementary school. I was going into middle school, I think. No. I was about to go into middle school. Or maybe I was in early middle school. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't care. I remember the first time we were talking about- What did school do for me? I'm kidding. It did a lot. I had a dream last night. We were going back to college and we looked at our schedules. Uh, Or no, I was going back to college and you you were just going to keep doing all this. And I was like, oh, I'm going to keep doing Super Mega 2. And then I looked at my schedule and it was like 12 hour days of nonstop classes. And I was like, how am I going to be able to balance this with Super Mega? So I just withdrew. (laughs) Taking that class was kind of like going back for like three days because I had to wake up early and then I had to take a, a test, a 50 question bubble in test. It's weird as an adult taking tests. I know. Like, this is like school, but not as strict I, or more strict. It's maybe? just weird as an adult being tested by another adult. Yeah. Because like as a kid, it was like these people are. I don't know. You you have that whole mentality when you're a kid of these people are bigger and older and wiser than me. And the thing is, these instructors, of course, do know a lot more than I do. But it's it's just it's it definitely is something that I'm not used to doing. Like questionnaires, yes, but not like tests. I haven't felt like that school exam vibe because everyone just had their paper and was bubbling in standardized their tests. answer. Yeah, the packed test before it became the pass test. And I get to take another test soon. Not the same vibe though. It's the DMV. Is that like an STD? No, it's a uh, oh, Department at the of DMV. Motor Vehicles. Gotcha, gotcha. I hate the DMV, man. Me so too. how about this DMV line, right, guys? So, so, so I was waiting at the DMV. Okay, right? Springer. You know, that's like the perfect way to start a stand-up line to get adults to laugh because it's relatable. You know. Yeah. Your kids won't get it yet, but adults go. Yeah. So I, so I was waiting in the dang DMV line, and the, and the woman's going so slow. 
oh, laughter everywhere. So what are what are obnoxious like long? So DMV's one. A pa- getting a passport it can also be a very big hassle. Post office, man. Post office. Post office. Post office like, is probably the least out of those that I'm like. Well, it depends on. Sometimes when you go to the post office, it can be just packed. You'll have like one person that's trying to like argue with the clerk over like a stamp price for like twenty minutes. Holds everything up. Um, oh, the bank is one. The bank. Oh, I I think recently I waited in line at the bank for like an hour because they they stand you outside and they split you like six feet apart mm-hmm. and they only allow a certain amount of people in at a time. Well, you had to wait because they had to back up the truck to get all the money into it. Yes, yes. Because that was a big that was a big load. Just keeping that in your bedroom now. Uh, yeah. I mean, don't worry. It's 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 all the Patreon money and it's all go. It's all just like. I'm not spending. I'm letting. I let Ryan most, manage. It. I'm not spending most of it. Yeah, honestly, man. As long as we got we got some to pay taxes to give to Uncle Sam, and we got enough to maybe go out to dinner every now and then. Don't, yeah, it's fine. My whole idea was, if I'm gonna get a bike, why stop at one when I can get different styles all at once just to test them out? Be like Jay Leno, and then I won't sell the other ones that I bought. I'll just keep them, and I'll just kind of have them. Not a bad plan at all, man. Yeah. I did that with the Teslas. So far, I have like about four or five bikes coming in. Hmm. Okay. Got any vintage ones? Because those can jack up the yeah, bill. Yeah. Well, I got one specifically made by Keanu Reeves' company. Okay. Um, he he does some custom stuff, which is All pretty right. cool. Well, like I said, as long as there's still some cash for the uh, taxes. You know? Yeah. 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 I'm sure. That I don't. I I let you magic. It's also business expenses, so they're write offs for taxes. More like a write off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah you know? dude. I don't. Uh, I don't need any Patreon money because I made so much money off of Ouch. You I'm, know, I'm waiting for like someone to like a, po- a post to be created. So, what's this about Ryan spending upwards of thousands of dollars on four to five motorcycles <laughs> <laughs> of strictly Patreon money? You sound like that an they had parent. loaded into a truck. So they go to the bank and they get all their cash loaded into a truck. And Ryan keeps it in his bedroom? <laughs> well, yeah, you can't trust a bank. They've been known to fail. They have been known to fail. Mm-hmm. It happened once. What happens when the banks fail? Uh, I mean... You're fucked. You're, well, you're fucked, but not the not the bank owners. No, they're like, oh, we'll just take the money. Well, because the money doesn't go. It's not gone. Yeah. It's just someone else has it now. But, you know, FDIC. FDIC. That's, uh, they, they put that in place to assure every person... A bank assures you up to like two hundred thousand dollars. Okay, three hundred thousand. You know, chump change for us, but uh, yeah, man, pennies in the well. Pennies in the well, because it really is. A, the The banks are a well to us, a, a, a shallow little well. Here, little bloop, boing. You know. All right. I've never taken a coin out of a well because that's bad luck. I want to start doing a piggy bank again. Like, I want to get, like, a classic-looking piggy bank. But you have to smash with a hammer? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, legit, I think, that you know, I have... S- I don't really pay in cash as much. I don't anymore, have coins that often, but I do get coins every now and then. When like, uh, let's say I go to the dispensary, that's cash only or something. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, uh, there, there's there's one I go to that takes card, but they it's like a workaround. Okay. Where they like charge your card and they pay it into the register with cash, and then you get a refund. I don't know. It's which I don't know why, because it's not federally marijuana is not federally legal. So yeah. you still can't pay with card, only cash. I don't know what the deal is with that. Why don't they just do a Supreme Court ruling where it's like... Shoo, they shop. write it off as like a service fee instead of you paying for the actual product. I, think so. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why, what they do. Why is it like, I, I don't get why marijuana is still legal in so many states. Legal or uh, il- illegal? Oh, illegal. You know? Well, I mean, was it, where was it where shrooms were legalized recently? Colorado and Portland. Like, yeah. like Oregon decriminalized all drugs and uh, shrooms have been granted a uh, by the FDA, like a breakthrough uh, research status for therapy. So same with MDMA. So good. Good. That's pretty cool. Now, I did a lot of research on on uh, psilocybin therapy. It's really a cool thing. And I think that people should support it. Joe Rogan supports it. That does not surprise me. Well, I I get all my views from Joe Rogan on what to support, and what not to support. Um, I just have a, a little checklist in my pocket. So psilocybin therapy, whoosh, cross that one off. Joe Rogan fan, you also have crossed that one off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I hear you listening to him like on your speakers, like before you get into work, like I'm like inside in the office. And all sudden I hear you just, 100%, 100%. You know, I hear 
I hear it's the subwoofers. Yeah. I got the big subwoofers, and I had them modified to look like his big bald head. So it's like the audio is coming out of it, and instead of putting them in the car, I, I put them on the back of the car. I picture uh, him being short. Is he short? Honestly, I, I could see him. He's beefy. I could see him being kind of tall. I could see him he's being five seven. He's five seven. Yeah, that's three inches taller than Justin. Damn. All right, that's that's pretty short. <laughs> Damn, 5'7"? Dude, I just, uh, I searched Joe, and Google autofills Joe Biden and the subtext is 46th U.S. president, and under it, Joe Rogan, American comedian. But my brain mixed them up for a second, so I saw Joe Rogan, 46th U.S. president. President Rogan announced today. Dude, his wife is Jessica Ditzel. What a ditz. Is ditz a bad word? Can I say ditz? Dude, his wife's tall. No, she's just wearing heels, I guess. He could wear heels and increase his height by a couple inches. Oh, wait a second, is she dude. famous? My Amazon m- machine is buzzing. Hold on. It's Daddy Jeff. He says we have to shill ourselves out for corporations. Oh, okay. Well, we got to listen to Jeff. All right. So we're going to take a quick break for sponsors. Okay. Do you guys want anything from the kitchen? Uh, I'm going to go get a Gatorade. You want anything, Michael? Hot milk. You know, we have little cookies. Uh, I, uh, I don't think we have that. I mean, we have milk. I can microwave some for you if that, if that works. Yes. Mi amiga Matt S. Epic. Which means, well, in Spanish, my friend Matt is epic. Damn, dude, are you serious? You are just language after language conquering. How are you doing all this? Uh, well, Babbel. It's the number one selling language learning app. One of my goals for the new year was to learn a new language, or a few, and Babbel has made the whole process addictively fun and easy with bite-sized lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. Ryan chose to use Spanish for business opportunities. I see you on, on the phone late at night just speaking Spanish real hush-hush quiet. Yep. Practicing Spanish with those guys. Mm-hmm. Awesome, dude. I'm really proud of you. And Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Where do you take your Babbel lessons, Ryan? In the shower, on the john, or with your mom. Me madre. And unlike the infamous language classes you took in high school, Babbel designs their courses with practical, real-world conversations in mind. Things you'll get to use in everyday life. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching method has been six. Their teaching method. Their teaching method has been scientifically <laughs> proven to be effective. You're gonna keep that one. Yeah, I was just so excited. <laughs> Too many takes. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. Mm. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of just three. Go to Babbel.com and use promo code SUPER. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com code SUPER for an extra three months free. Babbel language for life muy excellent 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 there you go all right i just finished shaving that bush of mine ryan oh wow that looks really good thanks man damn hold up Woo, that's smooth. Yeah, smooth, right? COVID spring break is right around the corner. And you know what that means. Spring break in your pants. Manscaped is here to ensure that the party in your pants never stops. Even Veronica Corningstone wouldn't say no to this pants party. What's that a reference to? Anchorman. Uh, you invited to the pants party, the party in my pants. Okay, gotcha. Veronica, for, she's the female anchor? Yes. Got it, okay. Okay. For everyone preparing for a pants party this spring break, I have an exclusive 20% off discount code. It's super mega 20 at manscaped.com manscaped yeah manscaped is dedicated to helping you level up your full body grooming game the perfect package 3.0 kit comes with essential lawnmower 3.0 waterproof cordless body trimmer and a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your grooming routine mm. this is the best trimmer on the market for those of you who need that chest and ball shave I, I, I know I need a good old bald and gooch shave their third generation trimmer features let me put on my glasses. A cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to advanced skin safe technology pioneered by Manscaped. Wow. You can also adjust settings to get a length you like and you can stay on top of it with almost no effort at all. They also have their crop cleanser body wash to keep your hair and skin feeling fresh and healthy. And inside the perfect package, you also get the Manscaped Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, an anti-chafing ball deodorant moisturizer because we know how painful chafing can be when you're wearing your bathing suit all day. I put it on before I go to grandma's and it smells great. She does not even notice. So, um, so what you're saying is you use Manscaped. 
Uh, yes, I also use I use Manscaped. I use Manscaped as well. And you guys can too and get 20% off plus free shipping with code SUPERMEGA20 at manscaped.com. Do yourself a favor and always use the right tools for the job, trademark. But remember, Matt, for a limited time, subscribers get two free gifts. <gasps> the Shed Travel Bag, which has a $39 value, by the way, and the patented high-performance reduced chafing Manscaped boxers. Wow. <laughs> Say aloha to your new beautiful balls with Manscaped. Again, to get all this and and just a wonderful bushwhacking experience, just go to manscaped.com. Super Mega 20 is the code you need to put in to get that beautiful 20% off. Nice. And I, I didn't sleep in the bed with the child. Even if I did, it's okay. Yeah. I slept on the floor. Okay, yeah. My, Michael, I'm going to cut you off there. We got to get back to the podcast. Um, <laughs> and whoo, Ryan, that's a stinky one. Oh, I'm sorry about passing that gas during the ad break. I know kind of filled the room. And it stunk so bad. Yeah, but I mean, Michael, what's something we pretty much every every podcast you got to I I've dealt with it 236 episodes, so yeah, it did. It did. It did. Anyway, uh Daddy Bezos cut the leash. Uh let us go run. Let's go snip snip. Thank you. Thank you. So now we can uh and you turn the collars off. Good. 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 Well, he said Jeff said he did that one time. We started talking about about Amazon and yeah. yeah. I think it knows. I think he added retractable blades in mine. I felt like a little red. Like, I, I, do you see this mark right here? Ooh, that's red. Yeah, it's a little red. Ow. It's whatever. Jeez, man. The money's good, though. No, the money's great, man. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll suck Jeff Bezos' dick for a, a little bit of money. I could say that, right? I think so. No, it's, it's not like I can't on... speak bad about Jeff Bezos. I know. This is, it's still our podcast. If we want to gargle Jeff Bezos' nuts in our mouths, then it's... If the ad company, the, like, if the agency... It's a benefit to Jeff Bezos that we're sucking him off. Yeah, no, that's a good thing. And if the agency legitimately emailed us and said, all right, guys, with these ad reads, you cannot talk bad about Jeff Bezos. I'm like, wait, that's actually, that actually is kind of crazy. It's like this, this billionaire corporate... Mogul, it's like you can't talk bad about this. Really, try to picture him sucking your dick. It's uncomfortable, isn't it? I could see it. Well, what's what's mainly uncomfortable is him looking up at me, but he's got that one <laughs> eye that's all the way open. You know, is he? At, is it the one eye that's open where he's like, "Am I doing this right?" Or is he just kind of like into it? It's what like one side of his face he's trying to do sexy eyes, but then the other side is just like cyborg, like <laughs> <laughs> always keeping a watch on you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What, what what is with his eye? I don't know. It's okay. There was a guy in 90 Day Fiance who had this thyroid issue where his eyes were always open, like, so wide. Like, it was like his eyes were always just, like... Like that guy from the Blue Collar Comedy Specials? What's his name? It, it's a real thing where some people... I'm sure there's listeners that You know what I'm it. talking about? From the Blue Collar... From, from, like, the... Like, uh... He would every now and then show up with, like, Ron White, Jeff Foxworthy, Larry the Cable Guy, G Sinise, Gary Sinise. Oh. The Lieutenant Dan? No, not Sinise. Oh, who am I thinking of? Why did I think of Gary Sinise? Dude, Nova? he has Lieutenant Dan Band, and I want to go see that live once COVID's done. Blue Collar Comedians Crazy Drunk. I don't know. This is... No, not Ron White. Michael Jackson. Michael, no. No, oh, what's his... Who's the one that has the crazy hair, and he's always like... He Carrot looks top? like that. No, no. Not Carrot what are you top? talking about, dude? Dude, Carrot Top one time just posted just on his story just like a picture of him sucking dick and then deleted it. I, mean, I don't know if it was real, but it was there for a bit. <laughs> Wait, he posted himself sucking dick? Yes. Hold up. And he had like come on him. And I wait, let me <laughs> let me try to find this. Because I literally couldn't find anything about it after it happened. I saw because I saw a tweet that was like, is no one gonna talk about how Carrot Top just posted a video of him sucking someone off on a on his Instagram story? And I went and checked and I saw it. And then it was gone afterwards. Uh, and now I can't find anything on about it online. Sorry, hold up. Ew. Dude, Matt. Hold up. This could be us. Hold hey, up. Ryan. Let me get to it. No. No. Don't just no. watch porn. No. Make it. Hold up. Fuck. Come on. Load. No. 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 There. This could be us. That, the looks, super that looks like us. <laughs> it's like you only see the top of them both having sex with the girls next to each other. One's got the bleached hair with the dark roots and one's got the dark hair. One's pumping away. Yeah, he is pumping that shit. He's just pumping. He is. The, other, pumping guy, and the pumping. other guy's being a little more attentive to the women's to He's the kissing woman's her needs. Ki kissing her neck and, and touching. See, that's 
See, that's, that's more like one's making love and one's fucking. Dude, I hate that. This one guy, I think, just like slurped up his cum out of the woman's vagina. Mm. That's disgusting. What a weird angle for porn, too. Yeah. Like, I can't get off on that angle. Well, I searched... I searched Carrot Top sucking dick, and what comes up is this guy. <laughs> it's this guy, this po gay porn star, and it, he looks exactly like uh, the perfect cross between Carrot Top, Philip Seymour Hoffman, and Ed Sheeran. <laughs> is that accurate? <laughs> yes. <laughs> More Ed Sheeran though. He's, it's the number one thing that comes Who up for Carrot I Top sucking dick. Who am I fucking thinking dude. of? The crazy dude. Well, hold up. Crazy Steve? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's his name? Big eyes, <laughs> blue collar, crazy blue collar. No, comedian. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Michael. He would show up every now and then. He was, or maybe he didn't. I don't. He just seems like he would. Oh, what the? I think fuck you imagine this guy? You, no, I didn't. Is he yeah, bald? He has, he has like Trumpish looking hair. No, that's not him. Who the fuck is that? That's Harry Hill. Uh, who the fuck? Come on, who is this guy? He has like frayed hair, kind of like. Like, like President Donald Trump. Oh God, comedian Ron White busted for marijuana. Comedian, dude, I don't know who you're talking southern about. Southern comedy. I'm just gonna look up. Uh, He's not southern though. Really open eyes. <laughs> I wish he's been in movies and shit. I just wish I knew what he was in. He's been in shitty movies, I'm sure. Talking about Rodney Dangerfield? <laughs> Wait, who? This guy. <laughs> no, not Rodney. <gasps> what is this His fucker's eyes real name? Wide. He would like come up on stage. He always looks like this. He always like looks fun. He's like, his, his teeth are all. <laughs> no, not... Marty Feldman? <laughs> no. Brian Reagan? <laughs> no, I'm not Brian Reagan. <laughs> so I'm just trying my hardest here. <laughs> Um, I'm just throwing uh, darts at this point. Com is uh, I know, uh, comedian goes crazy. <laughs> I don't know. That's good. Oh, dude, Michael that's gonna Richards. be crazy, dude. <laughs> this comedian claps back. Uh, this comedian claps back I at Donald Trump. Comedian? I don't know, dude. Dude, I really. <laughs> Don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> I've tried. I wish I. It's like I can picture him clearly, as clear as day. And you, you know for a fact though that someone. Wait, he's been on roast before. Let me see if I can find him in a roast. It's not Ron White. Roast of not him. No, roast of Larry the Cable Guy. I think he probably showed up to this one. No. Okay, hold up. Is it the guy that played Ernest? No. Let me see if he showed up to this one. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, here he is. Yeah, okay. Jim Varney? No, 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 wait. Gary, this guy. Oh, Gary uh, Busey? Is that his name? Gary Busey. Is that, is that Gary Busey? Yeah. Yeah, Gary Busey. He plays uh him? Look him up. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Fuck. dude. He plays. Uh, he plays. Uh, the dog in that fucking awful movie. Um, <laughs> but can you see what I was going with? You know. Yeah, I see it. I thought you were talking about Ernest for a second. He's kind of known for it. I yeah, guess. he's on cameo. Gary Busey. He was in that How movie. How did I forget this beautiful man? <laughs> William Gary Busey and his American actor. As a character actor, he portrayed Buddy Holly in the Buddy Holly story where Busey was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor and won the National Society of Film Critics Award for Best Actor. <laughs> so, have you seen any of the Ernest movies? He's on Twitter? No, no, I only saw the covers in Blockbuster. Yeah, same. Well, like, George, I was talking to George, and George told me how he, he watched it. Dude, I did not realize Ernest goes to jail, ends with him killing him in the electric chair, but it fails, and he gets superhero powers and starts shooting lightning everywhere, and that's how the movie ends. This can't be the real Gary Busey, dude. He looks bad. No, like on his Twitter. He, he'll he post stuff like three days ago. He's like, you have the ability to be all four seasons in one day. And then like not that long ago. Is it verified? Yeah. He I goes, him then. okay, get Spectrum. Thanks for leaving my 82-year-old father-in-law without service on his first day in assisted living. And then he'll retweet, like, Spectrum's apology. Then he'll go, hey, at Spectrum, get Spectrum, DM sent, please make this right. That's him. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now, dude. I'm going to shoot him a follow, actually. Gary Busey, Pet Judge, is a real TV show that will settle your animal dispute in court. What the hell? That's like a... 
This is like, he kind of reminds me of a... What? It's good to be serious by having fun. Dude, does he have an Instagram? Hold up. Oh, you know he does. Dude. I'm going to Gary Busey's Instagram. Cell phones don't swim. Wait, the, where'd you come up with that one, Gary? The Gary Busey. He has a cameo, dude. I mean, we could, we might be able to get a cameo for the patrons if they for the patrons for the Patreon users if they they want to see a little shout out from a. I mean, dude, he plays Quigley. Hey there, it's Gary Busey. Ooh. Come on, cameo, and I love being a part of your special occasion. I'm here for you. Steve, more like you know, Michael, we're letting Gary sing play. Michael, we're letting Gary sing play. Yeah. Yo, so Neo One was my first. Have you seen? Wait, shut your mouth. Have you seen a? You know what Quigley is, right? No. The movie where he turns into the dog. Oh, I okay. What am I gonna do now that I'm Quigley? Because I've seen clips and shit. I tried watching it, uh, and it was like I tried watching it because it was like so bad and funny. It was so bad that it just wasn't even funny. Um. Let me, let me see. Wait, what's it? Quigley? That's like his name, where right? it's just like, where yeah. it's like Medea, where you're watching it and you're like, I'm what am I going to do now that I'm, oh, it's bored watching this. Oz Perkins is in it. That's right. Yeah, that movie sucks. I, 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 I don't know how it ends, but Gary Busey like slips in dog poop and he gets hit by a car and turns into like a little Pomeranian. And, and he's like, to, what am I got? What's going on? I like in the trailer, it's like, what am I going to do now that I'm Quigley? <laughs> Gary Busey. As More like Quigley. Gary Bussy. Come on. Respect him. Dude, I would respect him like if he pouch. posted a pit like a bussy picture of him like on all fours, like showing his like little his like fin boy kind of side. Or his bussy. Is a bussy I'm 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 writing this where the bussy is just like the back of your ball sack, right? It's like the gooch ass back of the ball sack kind of area, I think. Yeah, I think you like as you see some like, you see some nut sack, a little bit of a little nut bit, sack. Yeah. I feel like that's the bussy. You right? see that kind of Fine. You know what? I'm going to look up bussy and see what Webster's Dictionary Do you want to see my bussy? I can show you. No, no, no. Hold I've on. never actually looked at my own bussy. Bussy. Patreon's about to get bussy pics. Slang term, uh, slang term used by gay men to... Uh, well, I didn't use it. I didn't use the term. You didn't use the term? Neither of us used it. Oh, wait. It's in reference to their anus? I know it's like, it's your boy pussy. Bussy has been used for at least 15 years by gay men to describe their manhole of love. I know, like, the the... the the point is the butthole, obviously, but I think I think bussy reply, uh, applies to the whole thing. See, whole whenever thing. whenever I thought of bussy, I thought of like, what what do I think of like, you know, in porn, you know, the woman bends over, she shows her pussy. When I think of bussy, I feel like the guy bends over and he shows his, the back of his ball sack. I don't think bussy is just the butthole. <laughs> I've never thought of it it's as got, that. I, I bussy th transcends that. I thought it was like gooch ball sack. Like, yeah, it's like, specifically it's, it's the for some reason for me, it's like the back of the ball sack. And the butthole's part of it, just like the vagina is part of the vagina. You know, yeah. like the vagina hole is part of the vagina. Yes. Uh, you know, so. I mean, if you guys in the comments want to help us figure out what the true meaning of a bussy is, um, you know, maybe you maybe you guys can, uh, you know. The tender, sweet pussy of a boy is one definition. Did you see him? My bussy is wet is an example of uh, it used in a sentence. Thinking about a wet bussy is just gross. In a, <laughs> that just means he was sweating a lot, or his anus is leaking. Why have you not? Mm -hmm. Why have you not yes. swept your microphone to the side? Uh huh. Taken your muscular arm, swiped it across the table, thrown all the candles off, and leapt across this goddamn table and kissed me yet? Because I have gas right now, and it'd be very uncomfortable. I don't want anything to slip out. Mm, okay. Hold on. Don't do it in the room. No, I got. Oh, thank gotta you. Because Ryan, Ryan's been bad lately. He's dropping, dropping trousers. Oh. Holy shit, man! I Dude, hope that the feces. I hope the mic's picking that up. Whew. Wait, you shouldn't come in just yet. It's yeah. gonna follow you, dude. Shut the door. Shut That's the door. Thick. Airlock. See, Woo! for all you people out there that say our podcast is is. A shell of what it used to be. I, I present to you this. Is this still gonna come in? I, I, I'm just gonna accept. I'm gonna smell it. It's it's gonna come over here. And with my brand new open nose, I can smell. I can smell so much better. <sighs> Sorry, I'm having some weird nose problem, like mucus. I, uh, last time I had this much gas, my colon malfunctioned, and I started bleeding out of my. Ass. But you're having a lot of protein right now, so.
I'll, we'll say that's the excuse for now. Um, yeah, honestly, but, it was probably around when I started. Honestly, I think it was when I started taking the protein supplement shit that my shits became very just. Yeah, I mean, that's what it does, man. I ha I can smell and taste a lot better now. It's like a lot stronger now that I can actually. So you can like, taste my farts. Better. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Was I walked in the kitchen? I smelled one of those stinkers earlier, and I walked right back out because I was like, "Ooh, that's a downside of it. I'm, I'm gonna be able to smell that real good." Yeah, maybe my body will get used to it, and it'll you know cycle it through, and it'll become more natural, and maybe. Because there's no way I can go through the, a long period of time w with just being like stinking up an aisle in a 7 Eleven and it just staying there. Did for you like fart in the 7 Eleven? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You're that guy. Well, I mean, it's empty. I, I, I just went at like when like nobody's there. So, like, Unlike Jackson, two. who will do it when there's a lot of people around, but it's like, oh, well, they don't know it's me. But it's like, yeah, but when you do that, people will also think it's me, maybe. No, it's like me and then like the clerk who like, it's like, hey. he just kind of knows me. But if it's just you and the clerk and you do it and he smells it, like you could like try to play it off on him like, you smell that? <laughs> and like clearly he knows it's not him because it's just the two of you. Oh, gross. <laughs> like guy that's trying to play it off like it's not him even though there's only one other person. <laughs> try, try doing that in an elevator. But, oh, did you fart? But be mean to them about it. Like, like hey, seriously, that's pretty rude. Dude, you should warn a brother next time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of rude to do that around other people. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, just be an asshole, too. It's like this guy farts, makes them smell it, and then is a dick about it to them. And you could Nathan Fielder does that when he puts the fart machine on that nurse <laughs> yeah. to make the guy laugh and he's clicking it while she's taking his blood so there's more dopamine in it. And she's like, oh, excuse me, sorry. And the guy's laughing and she just has to go along with it. And Nathan's like, you know, you really should stay home if. If, if your stomach is upset, it's offensive. <laughs> so we were talking about just Nathan and Eric Andre earlier today. It's just so just beautiful. One thing beautiful, that, beautiful men with beautiful shows. Yeah. And what's blow, always blown me away is that the word American dream has Eric Andre in it. Oh, shit. Think about it. American. Has he ever, has he ever talked about this? Probably. Someone pointed it out one day in like a YouTube comment. And I was like, no way. If you if you put the tours together, it has Eric Andre in it. Sorry, my note, my just did this thing where now it's like all of a sudden I'm getting a lot of uh, stuffage, mucus. There, there's some tissues here. If you need to blow your nose, see that's the problem. It's not blowable. It's like in the it's in the very back of my of my of my nasal you can cavity. Hock a so it's like right when I when I speak, it's like the <sighs> air tunnels that. Mm. Ooh, good swallow right there. Yeah, I mean, would you feel better if we just took another ad break? Yeah, yeah, I guess it's a good time for some sponsors. Michael, you could tell us about that thing you were talking about earlier during the break. I tucked them in. We put, I put a little like uh, music on. into a little story time. I read a book. It's very sweet. We put the fireplace on. Oh, hey, Mr. Bezos. What's up? <gasps> oh. um, um, Ryan, today's sponsor is Amazon Pharmacy. And it's freaking amazing. Amazon Pharmacy delivers your medication directly to your door. So no more waiting in line at the actual pharmacy. It's great, Ryan. You know, the other day I was sitting, I was thinking, I wish corporations like Amazon could step into the pharmaceutical industry. And now they've done it. It's easy. Have your doctor's office send your next prescription straight to Amazon Pharmacy. Amazon Pharmacy works with most insurance plans nationwide, Mr. Bezos. Amazon Prime members get free two-day delivery and save on prescription medication when paying without insurance. I recently had my nasal operation done, and they uh, prescribed me some medication I needed to take to make the pain go bye-bye. And I tried out uh, my free demo of Amazon Pharmacy, and it came straight to my door. And I didn't even have to go to the pharmacy. It was beautiful. It was just... That's a kiss sound for you. Amazon Pharmacy coordinated with your doctor, and you received your prescriptions in a timely manner. 100%. I had Mr. Bezos actually called them directly. Uh, it's very convenient, and the familiar... And, uh, the, oh, I, I, You're messing it up, dude. I, I, Don't mess it up. No more waiting in line at the pharmacy. One less errand to run. It arrives safely at your doorstep. It's 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 your medication that you need. Amazon Prime members can save on prescription medication when not using insurance and get free two-day delivery. Learn more at Amazon.com slash super. That's Amazon.com slash super. What is that, Ryan? Amazon.com slash super. super. We deserve to know what we're putting in our bodies and why, especially when it comes to something we take every day. 
Rituals clean, vegan-friendly multivitamin is formulated with high-quality nutrients in bioavailable forms your body can actually use. Rituals pretty epic for that, don't you think, Matt? I think it's great. And you know what you won't find? Sugars? Sugars? GMOs? GMOs? You're reading my mind. Major, Major allergens, allergens? Synthetic, synthetic fillers? fillers and and artificial, co no. artificial colorants. Plus, the fresh taste and delayed release capsule design makes taking your vitamins easy. No one likes no one, no one likes to chew on and take those vitamins, but Ritual makes it easy. I take Ritual vitamins every morning because I want to grow up to be big and strong like my best friend Ryan. So you guys have been working out so much, so I'm jealous. So I'm just taking my Ritual vitamins to get all the nutrients that my body needs that I usually don't get on a daily basis because I just sit in my room on my ass and do nothing. A multivitamin should contain key nutrients and forms your body can actually use to help fill gaps in the diet. No shady extras. Ritual's delayed release capsule design delivers high quality nutrients, including vitamin D3 in just two daily pills. That's great because vitamin D3 is great for depression. You get it from the sun and most people aren't going outside these days. So Yeah, and you should wear sunscreen when you go outside, by the way. Now available for women, men, and teens, Ritual multivitamins are scientifically developed to help support different life stages. Get key nutrients without the BS. Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off during your first three months of Ritual. Visit ritual.com slash supermega to start your ritual today. That's ritual.com slash supermega. I sleep in bed with all of them. All right, well, go ahead and wrap that story up, Michael, because we got to get back to the podcast. Uh, yeah. Good story, though. Interesting stuff. Anyways, were we talking about anything interesting? My nose, so no. Oh, okay. No, that's interesting. They restructured your whole nose. Just the inside. Mm, I don't know. Does it look... It's like, I, I came back to work with like this clearly, like clearly I had intense plastic surgery <laughs> and it looks so bad. Like you have like a, like a, like a very like boyish curve to it now. Like a perfect, like, <laughs> like chisel. <laughs> yep. And it's like... And like I, but shaped I, like this. I'm playing it off like, no, I... It was just internal stuff. I was really scared when I was when I was getting this that that people online were gonna be like, he's getting plastic surgery. Matt's changing. He's getting plastic surgery. No, it's to help his it's to help his breathing. So no. the plastic he can stop surgery breaking himself up in the middle of plastic the night. surgery comes next. Now that I've done this, then yeah. I'm I'm gonna get the the facelift, the forehead reduction, forehead. I'm gonna get my forehead to be only an inch tall. You're gonna move hairline. your hairline about three inches forward. I couldn't. I'm just trying to picture that like your hair like that. <laughs> it like blends on my eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I did that to a picture. It'll of you never once. grow back. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I did a picture of you with your hairline down to there once. <laughs> it was something we posted. Yeah, it just makes you look like a like a chimp. <laughs> it really does look like a chimp because it frames your face like having like a, a Neanderthal, like a really low hairline. It looks like like it's just. Because Neanderthals like are early just, man, the brow, I and mean, then it just goes on. <coughs> they didn't have to have receding hairlines. They just they just had hair on everything. Exactly. I remember reading a, a like a Ripley's Believe It or Not about this woman who had hair everywhere, like completely yeah. covered in like in the hair. Wolfman. Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe it was Wolfman. I think it was a woman that had it too. I mean, you know, equality, whatever. You There's, know, women can be just as hairy as men if they wanted to. <laughs> Gross. I know. Icky, icky stuff. Yeah, that's why I wax my body baby clean, except mm -hmm. for my face and my head, mm -hmm. and my arms. Or anything you can see on camera and prove that I haven't shaved. I wish waxed. that the second you took your shirt and pants off, like starting exactly at the line where your shirt ends, it's fully smooth. <laughs> like a farmer's tan, but just with, with shaved. Dude, a hairless body just wouldn't work on me. It wouldn't look right. Really? It would look weird, I think. I actually agree. You know? I, I think, I think like, it at, like the hair, well, you're, you're like a masculine, you're a guy's guy, you know, a big hefty, you know, Man. That is true. I'm a man's man. So kind of adds do that. I do watch that football, and uh, and and play in the mud. You beat that pussy with too. my hat on backwards. Mm -hmm. Like you can't imagine me with hair like all over my body, right? It just doesn't fit. Maybe like, like I just strike you as a hairless man. Yeah, but when you're when you're forty, you're gonna have hair on you. I have some maybe. hair around my. I just I like I said, I only have one chest hair. I've always had it, and You'll it's never the same spot. It. Didn't and, Christian pluck it once? No, it's been plucked. He it went, comes back. <laughs> yeah, because Christian thought that was funny. Uh, he's doing a he's doing a Nuzlocke stream with Jackson. Oh, really? Pokemon. Yeah, they've been streaming it. Apparently, Christian lost like four Pokemon of theirs in a row. How? On the stream? How? He killed, like they died. You know, Nuzlocke. Uh, if you, a Pokemon dies, it's dead. Yeah. 
I think they did some cool thing. I want Jackson to set it up for us. Maybe if we play Crystal or something where it's like a randomizer where like all the Pokemon are randomized. Yeah. Well, we recently a started a, a Pokemon game. Mm -hmm. I'm Poke just going to, we started Pokemon Coliseum and I'm excited for that to come out whenever it Me comes too. out. Me too. It's so much fun. It should be out yeah. real soon. Uh, so, we just, we have a backlog. We just need to start putting shit out essentially. Yeah. The Patreon shit has pissed us off. That's the big one. I tried uploading it again today because we've tried throughout the week. And again, it uploads and then it just stalls and continuously loads and doesn't process at all. It's been doing that with every video we try to post. And Patreon, their comment system's broken, their messaging system's broken. Uh, and we've been trying to get in contact with Patreon and they have not been getting back to us. They got We got one of the bot reply tweets from them. Yeah. And I was like, y'all, come on. It's the super mega boys. Come on, we're, we're super mega. And the one Don't guy- you know who we are? The guy that we used to have phone calls with at Patreon doesn't work there anymore, so- he was nice. Mm -hmm. Very sweet young man. He was a nice dude. Beautiful accent. Yeah. He had that British accent. It was gorgeous. Yeah, I, I'm not making that up. He had a British accent, right? You know, I, if I, I don't, I remember his, I remember his yeah. appearance. I don't remember his, his, his voice at all. You know, I actually saw him at, uh, at, at I've only met him once. Gut, and that at, was at Tender Greens when we had our yeah. powwow. I saw him at Gus and Eddie's place once. They were Ooh. having a party and, uh, I showed up and he was there. So was Jakey's first time I met Jakey. Is that when Gus was scolding Eddie for not being cool or whatever? Part, uh, no, that was a different time. This was oh. the one where Gus drank too much. Okay. And he did the whole thing. Uh, and oh. they had to call the police. Got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. They had to fix the window. Too. No, I remember. I remember that night. That well, was I wasn't there. You, I remember you texting me about it. Yeah, that was really bad. You sent me some pictures, which were funny. But funny? Oh, no. It was definitely funny, but like looking back, it definitely went a little too far. Yeah, it caused a lot of... A lot of pain that night, I would say, to to a lot of homeless people. Yeah. Thankfully, oh. not too much property damage. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah. Or at least other people's property. I mean, the whole gasoline fire thing <clears throat> on the streets with the yeah. people. But that's, you know, Gus likes to party. You know, what that's can I Gus. say? That's Gus. He's a party boy. Party animal. You know? A hearty party boy. I I miss parties, man. I can't wait until COVID's over so we can, we can go to parties again. Parties are so, because like when people think of party, I used to be really scared of parties when I thought of it. It was just like, oh yeah, like dancing with like no, beer and loud giant club music. Yeah, it's just like going to someone's place, having a bunch of friends there and people you can just have a bunch of different conversations with, have a couple drinks, smoke a little weed, have some, have some, uh, a bo there's a bowl of pretzels. Maybe a bowl gain of a new friend or two. Yeah, maybe game a little bit. Maybe. And you know, have the TV set up with some smash or something, classic. Oh shit. I didn't get to have my birthday party this year, so I'm going to have to have a, uh, uh, what's the word? A pro, uh, a, You're thinking sexual. No, not that, Michael. A, um, a, a later on. Belated. Belated birthday party. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sure, that works. I think that's what you were looking for. It's not. Because whenever it's not you belated. say something about it, a birthday, it's usually a belated birthday. Why is belated, like, why does it only apply to birthdays? Because people don't say, like, belated to other holidays. Is belated specifically it's a birthday just, word? It's just wonderful alliteration. Mm. It's interesting alliteration. Going outside to rip some ass? Wait, wait, wait. Turn the mic that way. Yo. Ooh. Ooh. What if you just saw it like dripping onto the floor? <laughs> and you're like, you're like covering it up with your foot, trying not to, uh, like for me not to notice. Dude, I went to the doc, when I was at the doctor's office today, I didn't realize how much mud was on my shoes because I went for a little hike uh, after it rained and oh, the bottom nice. of my shoes got soaked caked in, in mud and it dried and I, when I ran out the door this morning I didn't notice that and I noticed when I'm in the doctor because wherever I'm walking it's dirt everywhere like all around my feet and I was like shit that's so it how was dried I, and it was crumbling that's how I feel when I'm going out to like visit friends in, in, in like the dim dimly lit area of like where I put on my shirt like in my room or something I like look at my shirt and I'm like, okay. And then as I'm driving, I look down and I just notice all the Lego hair on it. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> You're about to say come. No. That has happened one time where I, where I like, uh, threw on a shirt and you're like, uh oh. Yeah. But no, it was mostly like, I was, I actually was at the Super Megaplex and I like just put on a sweater from the like night before to just to wear. And I noticed after, like, while I was driving home, like a little bit on the, what is it? What's that part? Just the bottom of the shirt. There was the a little chest. Not the chest. The uh, fuck, man. My, did, my, did you let me know? Huh? One time I. I don't think I let you know. I picked up a t-shirt to put it on once, and you know, guys, you could shame me. We've all busted on a t-shirt before when there was nothing else around. I started putting it on. I was like, oh no 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 no! I took it off. Oh wait wait wait! Let me hear. Turn the mic this way. Go. My 
damn. God. That's sexual. Damn. There's a lot in there. There's, There's a lot, a lot man. It's like fucking genie in a bottle I over don't here. Why, dude? I'm telling you. I mean, they didn't like fix anything with my colon. They just went. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, I mean. So I could be having another stint. I could just have Crohn's disease and I'm having another flare-up. But specifically a year after I had my last... You don't look metallic. <laughs> Come on. It's like Crohn's disease? I do have to pee. Hey, man, I mean, we can we can wrap it up here. Okay, well, yeah, we can wrap it up. We can wrap up the podcast if you gotta take a piss. I mean, uh... I guess I uh, thank you to our guest, Michael. Um, Big round of applause for Michael. All right. Just don't applaud yourself. Um, okay, so. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week for 237. Um, Should we have him sing us out or do something? Or do you want to just end with the song? Yeah, you want to sing sing this out, Michael? Well, copyright, but I guess we can. I mean, you just do an acapella or something, all right?